Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fabulous Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining me for Try It Out Tuesday. Today we are gonna, we're, we're doing a little cooking. <laughs> we're making some faux soup, some pizza, and I actually also made some donuts, hot dogs, and pretzels. Those three are over on my blog if you want to check that out. But for today's project, we're going to be making these two cards. The die set that we're going to be using is called Sweet and Savory. I've had this for a while. It was um, available a few collections back um, from Spellbinders. But I love food-themed items because everybody can relate to food, right? Um, so the most difficult dies in this to create would be the faux soup and the pizzas. So that's what I thought we would create today because the, the donut, the hot dog, and the pretzel are pretty basic. Okay, we're going to create... These today, for our sentiment, I used the sweet and savory sentiments. There's a lot of punny sentiments in here. For our faux soup, I used have a phenomenal birthday. We love faux soup. I don't like the egg in my faux soup, but I do like faux soup. Um, and then there's also happy birthday. Here's a big slice of happy. I put some glossy accent and I do have time to dry. Look at those little olives. How cute are those? I didn't. I don't even like olives on my pizza. Um, I like them in my Greek food, but not on my pizza. But they look so real, I had to put them on there. But we're gonna create these two cards. And if you do wanna check out the other three projects with the pretzel, hot dog, and donut, they're on my blog. There's pictures over there. I'll show them to you at the end too. So let's jump in and get started. We have our bowl, and we have the top of our bowl and then our soup. When you die cut it out, it pops out. So let's go ahead and take some gray markers. I'm gonna use some warm gray markers and we're gonna color in our bowl real quick. This is W3. Then we'll go over the top of this. I think it goes like this. And then I'm going to do a little shading with my W5. Like so we'll blend the two, two together. Oh, let's do a little shading over here too. And our bowl is good to go. I'm gonna zoom in a little more. So that's our bowl. And then I have the W6. When we, in this die here, I should have showed you the dies that we used. To create our bowl, we die cut out this using this one, this one. We also die cut out this, and then we cut out this one and chopsticks this one and this one so these are the dies that we used for our faux bowl for our bowl we are using these two right now so this piece here we're going to take that that creates the egg and also it creates the accent piece for the bowl I want to take that and using my W6 marker, we're going to just color this in one color. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the, um, the W3 just to lighten it a little bit. And that's all we need to do for our bowl for our soup. I'm going to go ahead and use my E31. Do a little bit of shading with a slightly darker E35. For the most part, this is going to be covered up. Now to put together our bowl, it's pretty simple. You just take this piece. I'm gonna flip it around, add a little glue. 
take the circle oval piece, add a little glue behind here. And then we can add this to the top of our bowl and it lines up perfectly like so. And then we take this piece, we're going to flip it around and we're going to add this on the left side here. Kind of creates a little highlight for a bowl. This bowl's a little bit darker, but I think it looks better. <laughs> now before we add our, our soup goes in here, but before we add it, we're going to add a whole bunch of little details. So that's where this stuff comes in. Now these, this is our egg. And you want to separate this little oval here. Personally, on my faux soup, I don't like the egg. But that's just me. <laughs> my husband likes the egg on there. I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive. Like so. And then I'm going to take this little piece. Using my yellow, I'm going to color it in. And then this little yellow piece is the egg yolk. We're going to add that. And our egg is done. Cute. <laughs> now, we have, again, this could be basil or it could be cilantro. I like both in my faux soup, but I'm just going to do a little shading on top here. And this is good to go. I'm going to, there is a big, a longer slit here. There's a longer slit here and all you have to do, I'm going to put some glue behind here and we're going to use the tweezers and do a little tucking. So we tucked it in there. How cute is that? <laughs> and then we have these. Now, honestly, I'm not sure what these are, but I'm going to use them as noodles. So we're just going to take these and do a little tucking with them. They have a little point, like a check mark point. I'm going to take that point, and we still have a little bit of glue on the back side. I'm going to open some of these slits and tuck some noodles in there. Like so. To me that made the most sense, but they could be for the pizza toppings too. And you know what, there's probably no right or wrong when it comes to this stuff. And I'm gonna just add one more. I think that's all the noodles that I'm gonna put in there. Okay, I have a couple extra. You can color these in. We can maybe save these for the pizza. <laughs> now, when you die cut out the piece that kind of looks like a flag, those are your chopsticks. I die cut this out with white cardstock and black cardstock. What we're going to do is layer, first layer the white with the black. Add an extra one there. Just layer them on top. You don't have to do this step, but it does give it a little bit of extra dimension. Okay, the reason I die cut this out with white cardstock is because we want the noodles. So I'm going to just add a little bit of glue. And then we can take the noodle part, which, which will look like the squig squiggly lines, and then we're going to add these to that black area. So we now have some noodles hanging down from our chopsticks. <laughs> Those are super fun. Now, these little pieces here um, are peppers, and those are from this, this die. 
Now this has two lines on it and then those little pepper shapes and then it has this um, dotted detail. This is pepperoni. But I'm going to die cut this out three times. I went ahead and colored in those peppers you see here. We're going to add these to our faux soup. And I think that looks good. Good enough to eat. <laughs> so um, these are for my pizza. I'm going to put these and then this I'm going to throw in here for our pizza. Okay. Now to add our our soup, we just add a little glue to the to our bowl. We can use our tweezers. We'll just set that in there. And we have some fun faux soup. And on this chopstick, I put a little pepper. <laughs> you could do the same for this one. But I thought we would just do a couple different scenarios. So we have a couple of faux soups. Now you ready to make a card? To create the card. For my background, uh, for this card, I am using the beveled diamonds embossing folder. And then I created a frame using two of the essential diamonds you see here with black and red cardstock. I did use foam, um, pop-up black. I have a lot of the black pop-up foam, and I thought I'd use that for the most part today. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue behind here. We're going to tack this down. I thought the diamond went really well with the faux soup. We'll just place this in the middle. And you know, I think this would make a great Father's Day card or a great um, card that is gender friendly because it could be great for anybody because there's no pinks in here. <laughs> we'll add our sentiment right at the bottom. Have a faux nominal birthday. I'm going to flip over both of my faux soups. We're going to add some foam squares behind here. Like so. <laughs> Gosh, I think this is so cute. And then for this, I'm, well, I don't know if I can pop these up. Maybe I can try with it. I'm going to cut one of my foam squares. Let's see. Flip this around. Add a couple foam squares behind our chopsticks. Oh, I forgot what to do on one of the chopsticks. Let me show you. You see how this is black? And then this one has the red. On the back of the packaging, let me show you. They put some red here too. And so in our die set, when we die cut out our pepperonis, these two little pieces here, those you want to color in red. Let me grab them. Those two pieces. Oops. There we go. I'm going to use my red marker. And I'm going to color these in red. And there we go. That little bit of red just sure does make a difference. I put foam adhesive behind the noodle part. And I think we can just let the other ones kind of... And then I attached my chopsticks. And I think that I think this is probably my favorite. And that's a surprise because usually the donuts would be my favorite. But I think this would be a great card for a gentleman. That finishes our faux soup. Now to create my pizza, let's come over here. To create my pizza, we use this die. We used both, this is the crust, this is the pizza sauce. These can be little peppers. These can be used for your faux soup too. Okay, you're gonna use those. What I think are just stinking adorable are these, this die. This creates little olives. 
so so cute <laughs> and then you're going to need this for layering your crust now i'm going to do a die cutting with some white cardstock this one i'll die cut with black cardstock this one i'm going to also die cut out with some foam pop up foam and then i will be right back now i have everything die cut i already colored in two of my pepperoni i burn up the edges um it looks really dark on camera, but in the picture so it'll probably look a little bit more more red. I actually used RV99 to do a little shading. Let me show you. I just went ahead and used R39. Went around the entire pepperoni. Like so. And then I just used a little bit of my RV99. Kind of created a C shape with it. And then I just blended the both together. And then the dye really does all the work for you. Then you have some pepperonis. <laughs> now, let me show you. How stinking cute are the olives? They look just like olives because they're not perfect little donut circles. They're, they're off shaped. I just think they look so cute on a pizza. I don't even like olives on pizza, but they look so cute. I like olives, but... They look so cute. Okay, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to take my G14 and just color in a couple of peppers here with G14. Now, I like the white on here is cheese. I left it white. And some of these popped out, so that's where I'm going to color in with my darker green. And I'm going to go over here with a little bit of the darker green. Okay, and then the rest will leave white. And we need to color in our crust before we do anything else. So for basically, you're only going to see the top portion of this crust. So I'm going to use my E31 and I'm basically just going over this section here. We'll add a little browning here and I'll blend them two together. You're not going to really see this too much. Now, for the crust, we're going to go ahead and add the same E31, like so. And then I'm going to bring in E37 and go around this curvy area and the edges. And then we'll bring in a light E35, blend these two together. And then we'll blend them all together with that lightest color once more. And then our crust is all done. Nice and crispy. To create our pizza sauce, I'm gonna go with a different color red. This is R46. I wanted it different than the pepperoni so that they stand out, but I'm just going to do one color over this sauce piece. If you wanted to do a little highlighting with it, you could. In fact, let's add a little bit of R39 on the top here. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put our crust together. I think that's all the coloring we're going to do. So we'll get rid of the mat. No, actually, let's leave the mat on here. Now we, um, yeah. Okay. So let's add our pizza sauce. We'll just add a little glue behind here. I'm also going to add a little glue behind our pop-up foam. We're going to take our pizza sauce. This is going to go all the way in the bottom of our slice and it lines up beautifully. Oops. Then I'm going to take my foam. We're going to adhere that to the very top. See what I meant when I'm, you didn't need to color in the whole area. 
I'm going to add a little more glue. Oops. And then we'll add the top of our die cut crust. <laughs> it's so cute. You could probably, maybe even get away with making this a pie. Now I'm going to add a few dots. like so and then over here is this that's what we created with this and these our peppers this is with this dye I'm just gonna use my I probably won't use all of these because I die cut several this we're gonna use this cheese I'm gonna add this first because I want to add a little bit of color to these I don't want these to be a bright white I think that looks good. I'm going to go over the white pieces with my, whoops, not this one, with my a gray marker. This is C1. Just so it's not white, white. Probably going to be covered anyway. Then we can add our pepperonis. Need a little more glue here. I think that looks good. Then we're going to add some peppers. And you can customize this the way you guys want. But I think you don't necessarily have to make it how you like it. Just make it look like pizza. <laughs> That's the fun part. Add some bell peppers here. I'm going to add a little bit more glue in our pepperonis. I still have a little bit of cheese that you can color in. We're not going to use all of that. Now we have our olives. This is like the icing on the cake for me because they're just so cute. Never thought I'd be excited about olives. But these olives are so cute. I mean, to me, this just makes the pizza. To create my pizza card, I went ahead and created, this is just a square that I'm at it, um, three, two different colors of red. I think we have crimson, we have mahogany, and then this is dune. All of these are color essential card stocks. Um, and then for my background, I used the corrugated embossing folder. Let me zoom back out here. I'm gonna go, I already put foam adhesive behind here. We're gonna tack this down. For this sentiment, I'm using, here's a big slice of happy, and I wanted to stamp happy birthday too. Everybody likes pizza for their birthday. Most everybody. <laughs> we'll tack this down. I think glue works best with these 3D embossing folders. I put foam adhesive behind my happy birthday, and this is in the stamp set. All of these are in our stamp set. We're going to tack this right underneath that square. And then I have, here's a big slice of happy. We'll tack this right underneath our happy birthday. I think that looks good. And for this one, I'm going to add a little bit of my glazing glue because I think we need a little bit of shine. I'm going to go over those pepperonis and those olives. And it'll dry nice and shiny. And that's our pizza card. <laughs> and that will finish off my card projects today. I hope you enjoyed them. Super fun. I think they're universal cards that would be great for a boy or a girl. And I want to, I mentioned during um, the intro that I would show you the other cards that I made. I want to just zoom out a little bit. And again, this is with the Spellbinder Sweet and Savory die set. And then the Sweet and Savory Sentiments. And I'll list them down below. 
for my pretzels. Basically, all I did was double them up. Those are my pretzels. Super cute. And then for my hot dogs, I created two. And I did add a little bit of dimension. I used some liquid pearls and some Christmas red stickles for the ketchup mustard. I just die cut out that little swirly line and added this right over the top. And I love doing that for a little bit of extra something on my cards. Frankly, you're the best was the sentiment I used for this. And I did use the knock on wood 3D embossing folder for this one. This one I used the Puff Dotty embossing folder. And then for my donuts, I used the, I'm not sure of the name of the cloud emboss, oh, was it on cloud nine embossing folder? So there's some playful clouds in the background. And then I added some of those sprinkles. This one says, I do not know how to thank you. So fun food elements. These three are, post that picture over on my blog if you want to check it out. But I hope you enjoy my projects. Have a wonderful um, rest of your week. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you again next Tuesday for another project. Have a great day. Goodbye.